Are you thinking about possibly moving here to Chesapeake, Virginia? Well, if so, stay tuned because today I'm going to be giving you my top five pros and top five cons of living here. Welcome back to another episode of Real Estate in the 757. My name is Jennifer Stimson. I'm a local realtor here in the Hampton Roads area with Remax Alliance on the Dahl team. Today I'm giving you my opinion of the pros and cons of living here in Chesapeake. And not only that, but hey, I don't want you just to sit here and watch me in these videos. So I take you out throughout Chesapeake. I'm gonna be showing you footage of our area. That's really what makes real estate in the 757 so unique. I don't want you just to watch me. I want to be showing you our area. And hey, if you enjoy this video, why don't you take a second and subscribe to our channel. Also hit that like button. Feel free to make, leave comments too. We love to hear what you're thinking as you watch these videos, but each and every week we roll out a different video. So we would love to have you subscribe to our channel. All right, so pro number one, Chesapeake is a family friendly area. It's why I live here in Chesapeake. I have loved raising my boys in this city and I know you will too. We have great neighborhoods. Many of them have sidewalks throughout. Um, you'll find playgrounds in different neighborhoods throughout our area. We have a couple of um, local parks that you could take your littles to as well. So it's just got that family friendly atmosphere. You can take your kids for walks um, in your neighborhoods. You can go out for bike rides and it's just something that people, when you think of Chesapeake, that typically is one of the first things that comes to mind. All right, so con number one would be that we may not have quite as many outdoor activities as, let's say, Virginia Beach. Um, but, you know, we do have a couple of great parks worth mentioning. I am currently at the Great Bridge Locks Point. They have a huge, wonderful playground. Plus you can watch the boats coming and going along the waterways. Um, there's also Oak Grove Park, which has a pretty substantial playground just as you first walk into the park. And then there's also a big lake there and you can walk the whole radius around the lake. Um, and that's great. I think I've even seen some dog clubs meeting there too. So it's just kind of a neat little spot worth mentioning. Um, the Dismal Swamp is another favorite for my family and I. We just like to go out there. There's kind of this long stretch um, along the Dismal Swamp. And, um, but you could take your bikes and go for, I think like a six mile bike ride, um, which makes for just a great afternoon. All right, so pro number two is that Chesapeake is centrally located. And what that means is because we have such a huge military presence here in the Hampton Roads, we have so many different military bases. And for those that are looking for an area that's family friendly, but also want to avoid having to drive through those tunnels, then Chesapeake is a great option because it's a way to have to, um, to be able to kind of avoid the tunnels. Um, so if you are working at the Naval Hospital or the Coast Guard Station, for example, um, Chesapeake is a great option because you won't have to deal with the tunnels. The number two con is gonna have to be traffic. So you're not dealing with the tunnels, but you still have a commute to get to the bases, for example. So quite often people have about a 30 minute commute to get to work and that's not for everybody. Um, but those of us that do it, we just kind of get used to it. All right, pro number three would have to be the various types of neighborhoods, the types of homes that you can find, the different lot sizes that you can find here in Chesapeake. If you want a neighborhood that has sidewalks, you can find that. If you want townhomes or condos, you can find that. If you want a neighborhood where you might have a larger lot size, even up to about three acres, we have that. And that's really hard to come by in Virginia Beach. So that is a great asset here in Chesapeake. Um, you know, lots of, of that size or the three acres, you know, you can find it in Virginia Beach, but it's probably gonna be a ranch style home built in the 50s um, or a house way down the Pungo. So Chesapeake just has that advantage for sure. 
we just have all styles of homes from ranches to two stories, condos, townhomes, like I said, on every lot size imaginable. Lots to choose from depending on what you're looking for. Con number three would be the bridges and the tolls. Um, there are numerous bridges throughout all of Hampton Roads, really, um, but we of course have them here in Chesapeake as well. And so you kind of have to plan for that as you are heading out to different areas. Some are on a schedule, somewhat, and some not so much. Um, and they give you a nuisance because they're gonna slow you down, right? You get almost across the bridge and then up, the bridge is gonna go up and now you're, you're stuck. Um, and we do have a couple of tolls, but again, there are always alternate routes you can take. So if you just kind of plan accordingly, um, that's all you really got to do. All right, so pro number four would have to be the shopping. So we have several malls in Chesapeake. We have all of the main kind of big box stores, the chain stores. We have like a lot of the same type of restaurants that you probably have where you are. Um, and so that is a plus here in Chesapeake. And if you want to know one of my favorite little places to go to eat, I would say that Capers is just a special little gym and they have the best tapas in town and the best sangria ever. So my fourth con is going to be the nightlife or rather the lack of nightlife here. Um, we have a couple of places like Big Ugly Brewing comes to mind. They um, you have all these different types of beer that you can try. They bring in some local bands and actually also have some pretty cool food trucks. So I do love Big Ugly Brewing. Um, and then there is, well, no, there really isn't. <laughs> That's kind of it. So if you're wanting the nightlife, if you're wanting a place to go and hear some music or some fun places to go, especially if you're on the younger side, maybe you don't have kids yet, um, you know, you're just, you're going to be driving into Norfolk or Virginia Beach to find more exciting nightlife. All right, so my fifth and final pro would be that we are rich in history. So if you are a history buff, if you love learning all of the different things that go behind an area. Um, Great Bridge is known for the Battle of Great Bridge during the Revolutionary War. So if you're a history buff, you know, that's pretty cool. And even um, another fun thing is that every year they hold a reenactment of that battle along the Intercoastal Waterway right here in Great Bridge. And it's just a super fun activity to take the kids. All right, so my fifth and final con would be that Chesapeake has kind of that small town feel. And while I love that, I actually really do like that, um, it's not for everybody. So if you like more of the big city feel, if you desire that urban downtown living, or if you wanna be closer than about half an hour to 40 minutes to get to the beach, then Chesapeake is just not for you. All right, so there you have it. If you want to see more videos just like this one, pros and cons videos of different areas here throughout Hampton Roads or various neighborhoods and what types of homes you can find in each of those areas, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We would love to have you coming back each and every week. If you are looking to sell, if you're looking to buy, if you are moving to our area and relocating, just reach out, give me a call. I would love nothing more than to help you find a new place to call home. Until next time.